way that you are spraying your room spray is not effectively making your room smell good. So you're probably just like taking your room spray and spraying it in the air and whatever. No. Hi, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Allie, it's your girl. So of course it is 2020 and we are all trying to build new good habits and break the old ones. And I bet a lot of you guys have a habit of keeping a messy room, especially if you're busy like me. So if that's you, stick around because I got some tips for you, okay? Basically this video is how to keep your room smelling fresh. And of course this doesn't completely have to do with keeping it organized or clean or whatever. I do do a lot of those videos on my channel though, so make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. So today, when it comes to cleaning and organizing, we're gonna be focusing on the smell of your room. So I get a lot of requests almost every single day, not even almost every day, every single day. Literally every single day I get a request to do another one of these videos. So here I am. Um, I did one in my dorm room way back when in February, March, something like that. And you guys absolutely loved it and you guys wanted a regular room edition again. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my tips because I have a ton and I absolutely love to share them with you guys. Of course, if you want to go ahead and share this video with anyone who you think would find it helpful, make sure to go ahead and do so. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So yeah, I just really wanted to share these tips with you guys it's not really many it's kind of just a few I honestly just wrote down whatever I have I wanted to make it really casual just share with you guys personally like we're talking like as friends or whatever make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram Twitter my music channel which is my second channel I post there often as well and you guys really like the videos on there and my TikTok Twitter I don't know if I already said that but yeah go ahead and make sure to follow me on my social media so I'll be down below I don't want to be too um, follow me follow me but like yeah if you guys want to see me on other platforms, go ahead. Yeah, I don't wanna to be too long with this intro, so let's go ahead and get started. The first tip I have actually is so ancient in my life. Like, my dad has been doing this for years, and I just think it's like the smartest thing ever. I don't know how nobody has ever like thought of this, or maybe they have, I don't know, but I haven't seen it anywhere. And this is kind of for like my cart, not kind of, it is. This is for my carpet people, like the people that have carpets, or if you just have like little rugs around your house or whatever, and you're doing like a deep spring clean or a deep new year 2020 clean. Basically the tip is to, before you vacuum your carpet, to spray disinfectant spray and or Lysol on your rug. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then go over with a vacuum. This is going to transform the smell in your room. I don't know what this does. I don't know what type of science this is. I, you would think that the smell would absorb into the vacuum and it would just like be a waste. No, it literally is amazing. It feels so clean. It's disinfected because of the disinfectant spray. I recommend using both disinfectant spray and Lysol just so you can get that smell and you can also disinfect the germs because a big part of like what causes bad smell? Germs, bacteria, all of that, right? Obviously it could be different things like a mixture of environment and like just weird things, you know, going on, but mostly it's bacteria. So that kills two birds with one stone and it's honestly the smartest thing ever. I don't even know how my dad came up with that, but I've been doing it forever and ever since, the smell of my room has been amazing. It's, it's just been honestly life changing. The next tip guys is literally like, like mind blowing, it's crazy. So, if you guys have a vent in your room, like an air vent, which majority of people do have, take a little car air freshener, and I will insert a picture of it here because it's in my car right now and I don't wanna take it out because it took me so long to put in, it was so difficult, and put it in your air vent. So it has little prongs, like kinda like this, that are meant to stick on a car air vent. So if you stick it on the air, front, air vent of your room, that's like a DIY air freshener right there. And I mentioned in my other video that I did in my dorm room that an air freshener thing, like the plug-in ones are perfect. I mean, you can get either or. I feel like the one in the air vent is gonna be way more effective because it's literally like once the air flows, it flows with it, which is exactly what it does in your car, you know? But in your room, wow, I know, I know, I know. I know. So I also mentioned in my other video, as you guys can see, I'm referring to my other videos quite often because I want to 
touch back to what I talked about and like kind of add more to that or just like change it up a bit and add another alternative to what you guys can do. So in my other video, I told you guys to change your sheets every other day, which is so, so crucial to the way your room smells. I noticed my room completely changes like everything, the atmosphere, the smell, everything once my sheets are washed. So definitely change your sheets all the time as often as you can. But one thing that you should do is you should buy some room spray. And I know you guys are probably thinking that is like the most obvious way ever, but hear me out, hear me out. The way that you are spraying your room spray is not effectively making your room smell good. And what I mean by this is you're probably just like taking your room spray and spraying it in the air and whatever, no. You have to spray your room spray on things that can make it last and can hold that scent. So for example, your sheets are made out of fabric or silk if you're bougie like that. But yeah, your sheets are made out of fabric, some type of fabric, you know? And once you spray that spray on your sheets, it kind of holds that smell. So of course, if the sheets are clean, this is going to be effective, but yeah. Definitely, definitely do this, especially just like on the throw blankets, on the throw pillows, anywhere in your room. This doesn't have a limit to just your bed. Also, 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 this is my biggest secret, guys. You really have to keep this hush hush and on the DL because I don't even know. Okay, take your room spray and spray it on your fake flowers. <gasps> I didn't say that, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, that makes a huge difference as well. And when someone smells your flowers and they're fake, it's gonna smell like mango and eucalyptus. Is that how you say it? I don't know, we're gonna keep it at that. Time. So yeah guys, that's pretty much my tips for a beautiful smelling room. Make sure to go ahead and leave your good room smelling tips in the comments down below because I would love to hear it. We can have the conversation and keep it open in the comments down below. Also make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, my music channel and other social medias. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. With a lot. I just hit a lick with the box.